Hey girl, hey! This is a very special vlog because it's not just going to consist of me talking. I'm actually going to be showing you a technique that I use on a regular basis to create the perfect winged eye. For some people, this is a staple. <laughs> For others, not so much. It's a great thing that you can use when you're going out, if you're doing a very Hollywood or pinup look. I typically go a little bit more dramatic with mine. Nothing super, super thick, but I like it to have a nice, crisp, clean line to it. And in lots of my pictures that I've posted that are all over my Facebook page, there are constant questions as to how I do it, people have issues creating it, and I'm sure that there are lots of videos on YouTube where you can find it, but I figured why the heck not share this with fans, subscribers, people who want to learn how to do a wing, those of you who may not be interested or didn't know that I did makeup, whatever, what have you. I decided this would be the perfect time. But it's for more than just you guys. This is actually a video specific to three people with one in particular. So I want to give a shout out to Kim, Anitra, and Hannah Beth. Hannah Beth's birthday is coming up in a few days, and I thought that this would be a nice surprise slash birthday gift that I could give to her because I know she, her mom, and Kim love them some wings. So this video is for you guys. So I'm going to start off with my tools. Now I'm using an angle brush. This is a MAC 263 brush. This is not available in partnered locations, but if you go to a Mac Pro store, they do sell this, or if you go online. And the product that I'll be using is a gel eyeliner. I'm actually using a black chroma line, and you can use the fluid line if you'd like. I think I said that right. Yeah, chroma line. <laughs> I don't know my products. Yes, so what you're going to need is obviously an angle brush, something that's nice. I like, I like a nice thin line, but I, I also like it to be a little bit longer. The 208 MAC brush is really great, and I've used that one before, and I, I think I mentioned the 266 is a good one. And then, of course, you can use a liquid liner, but I like to use the gel. I find it's a little bit more forgiving. Lily, back up. Lulu wants to say happy birthday. Say happy birthday. Say happy birthday, Annabeth. You want to learn how to do eyeliner? Funny story before I get on to this. Lulu, when I adopted him from the Humane Shelter, he, um, his name was actually Smokey, and I was having a hard time debating between he and this other cat. Um, and so I, I was talking to a then friend of mine, and I was just like, what do you think? Do you think I should go with this one, or do you think I should go with Smokey? And I knew that all along that I wanted to rename whatever cat I got Toodaloo, so I could call him or her Lulu. Well, the friend said, hello, Matthew, you like smoky eyes. Go with that one. So I said, oh, that's a good idea. I like it. So that's what we ended up going with, our little smoky to bear. Sometimes he looks like a bear. I don't know why I think that, but he's so cute. Now, it's been a long time since I've done a makeup tutorial, and not that I would consider this one really a makeup tutorial since I'm <laughs> blathering on like that. It, it It's different for me because I'm not used to this setup, and I've never done makeup at my computer desk. So bear with me. If I get out of focus, I apologize. I'm going to try to stay together with it all, and I'm sorry for the lighting. That's all I got to work with. So my mirror is down here, but I'm also going to be addressing you guys there. All right. So the first thing that you want to start off with is with your angle brush, you're going to dip it into your eyeliner. And I don't prefer using a pencil or a eyeshadow, just a PS for this. And what you're going to do is you're going to make literally a little tick mark going into your waterline. Your waterline is this area right in here where a lot of people put pencil eyeliners typically. Why you're going to do that is because it's going to create the perfect symmetrical line on both sides so that when you're starting to do the wing, it becomes easier to see that you're symmetrical. Lots of people like to do eyeliner all the way across and then bring it up like that. Well, people like I, or me, who have, uh, I or me, <laughs> who have downset eyes, um, eyes that slope downwards, and a lot of people are like that. They have a hard time bringing it up without making it look like the I Know What You Did Last Summer hook. 
as I like to call it. So this is the way that I have determined is going to be best with my eye shape and with what I'm trying to create. So determine for yourself how long you want the line to be. Like I said, I typically go a little bit more dramatic. So, all right, here we go. And I like to have the brush, I like to have the longer end dragging behind the shorter end leading the way. So remember that if I'm moving from left to right, I want the longer end to be the furthest left and I want the shorter end to be more inward in that direction. So I'm literally going to, oh, just like that. And you see it's almost like nothing. And for some people with crazy lashes, it can kind of make your lashes feel cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. So once you've done that, I'm going to load up my brush again. And as you can see, I just literally and barely have a little tick mark right there. It looks kind of kook. Well, from the top of that tick mark, what I'm going to do is I am going to glide it right across my lash line. Now, you can see that the liner is not connected with my lash line. Hopefully you can see that. So what I'm going to do now is fill this in. And I only have the liner in the middle of my eye. Here's where I'm going to take the brush, again, the longer end, dragging behind. And with my eye partially open, I'm going to start somewhat in the inner corner of my eye. And I'm going to keep building up the line so that it meets with the middle of my eye. So we're starting to build up the wing. Well, a portion of it anyway. Then now I'm going to go and finesse it. Make sure you get really, really close to your lash line. And you see how just using that brush, I can constantly glide more eyeliner on there without it looking too cakey. Now this is a very neutral wing, N not neutral, excuse me, it's a very small wing, not like me. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Just slide it across, fill in, then go on from the inner corner Meet with that line. And we're slowly building it up. Now here's where you get that Matty Fran wing. Load up your brush yet again. See, it's constantly dipping in the the, um, the product and that's why I like to use a gel better than a liquid I just feel like it doesn't dry out as quickly oh he's so cute alright so from the top of this wing I'm gonna make another tick mark along the edge where I already had a tick mark I'm just going to angle it down a little bit more just like that now you see I can really control the line and then from there, I'm going to make it a little bit thicker, again, slicing across. When I slice across, I do come at an angle, but I want the, I don't want the line to be completely thick and then away. I want it to have that nice, um, smooth, what's the word I'm looking for? That. So that's what you need to be looking for, too, if you're trying to create my identical wing. So, again... Down like that. And I'll be honest, I don't get it perfect every time. Sometimes I have one wing that goes out more and one that goes up more. And then it's just my job to make sure that they're as symmetrical as I can possibly get. Now, as you're doing the outer corner portion, see, like this one, to me, it goes up a little bit more than that one. That one's a little bit more outward, which is fine. 
we can fix that. Always remember though, you don't want the outer corner to look like a, what I call a branch. A branch is when there's no straight line. It literally looks like someone just took a crayon and just like scribbled on the outer corner trying to make a straight line. You do not want that. So what you do is you just angle the brush really, really close to your skin and you just make small little motions like that, little slices. And take your time doing this. This is not something, ooh, almost knocked stuff over. Um, this is not something that I can do in just two minutes. I like to take my time doing it, but I get lots of compliments when I do. So it's totally worth it to me to spend a little extra time. And if you feel like, okay, now I feel like they're more symmetrical. If you feel as though you've got one wing that's up a little bit higher than the other one, it's important to know how you're positioning your brush to the skin. Instead of going at an upward angle this way, you might need to angle it so it's still a little slanted, but you're not going as harshly down like that, okay? And that's really all there is to it. I have lots of variations with my eyes, honestly. This is just a little version of a wing. I don't have any eye makeup on, so it looks kind of silly. All I have on is my foundation and eyebrows and stuff like that. But we'll go ahead and curl the lashes. <laughs> I guess you heard that little snapping right there. Can I just say that uh, the new MAC Mas the Match Master Foundation is the bomb diggity. I'm loving it. What are you doing? Aw, he loves being on camera. Don't you, Lily? You love mommy? Mommy loves you? Ow. <laughs> this chair doesn't love mommy. And then I'm going to do a little bit of false lash mascara. This is a great everyday look if you typically do more dramatic lips and don't have time in the morning to fuss with eye makeup. Just put a little bit of powder, maybe even a little concealer on your eyelid and um, do a wing and a nice coat of mascara, maybe two. And if you have time, do some false eyelashes and then pop on your bold lip and then you've got a nice glamorous look. And if you use a gel, it typically will last all day long. And see the difference mascara makes? Probably not with my camera, but mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, Hannah Beth, Anitra, and Kim, I hope you guys learned something from this video. Like I said, this is not one of my best wings, but that is the technique that I use. And when you have your eyes on, if you use this technique to create a wing, you will find nine times out of ten your wing is symmetrical, doesn't look like a branch, and has a nice finesse to it. I think that was the word I was looking for earlier when words were escaping me. Oh, and then of course I'm just going to smudge black mascara all over my finger. Thank goodness for Kleenex! All right, so I hope you guys learned something new with the wing technique, and happy birthday, Hannah Beth, just like we did in my previous video. Please, everybody, write a comment and give Hannah Beth a shout out. If I have any October birthdays, let me know, and maybe you'll get a shout out too. All right, make good choices, have a good night, and bye, girl, bye.